Hey everyone, Works here. So, special bonus reaction video. I'm a little late to this party, but I wanted to cover it anyways because it's from Marwin Amon, and I love the work that he's done so far with the Bass Gang, and uh, the kid is a prodigy at only 18 years of age. So he put out a song featuring Casper uh, Fox, who I've never heard before, and uh, so this is going to be really fun, really interesting. Uh, they did a song called Moment of Silence. Uh, I think it's from a Romanian artist called Anton. Uh, I've never heard the original song, so I don't have any way to compare it to. And uh, I have never seen this before. So we're going to do a first time reaction on this video. And then we'll go back and talk about the things that we think are really cool about it. For those of you new to the channel, just a back quick background on me. I am not a professional musician by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I consider myself an intermediate. I love music. I was... Uh, band kid i was in percussion as drum and drum line uh, so i hit heads on you know beat sticks on heads for a number of years but you learn things about like harmonizing things of that nature that i can pick out what i'm not very good at is the technical side of things so if you're looking for like a real in-depth breakdown of technique chest fry note identification uh, you know key changes things of that nature those things i'm not super strong in still even though I've been trying to learn, uh, I'll recommend you go check out other creators. Uh, Peter Barber, Mar Marwin's Bass Gang uh, mate, did a review of this that really gets into the details of musical technique and like why or how he went about going on about those things. So if you really want to get into the technical nerd out version, I definitely suggest Peter Barber's video and also subscribe to his channel and the Bass Gang channel and Marwin's channel and my channel. Without further ado, we're going to do a first time reaction to Moment of Silence by Marwin Amon featuring Casper Fox. Let's dive into it, and then we'll go back and talk about it afterwards. We stand on the edge. They want us to break. They want us to fall. Cause power's at stake. Oh. Laughing at us as we fade. Dude, that was so fun. 
Oh my god. I'm mad I didn't do this sooner. Oh my goodness. Wow, Marwin. Dude, okay, first off, Casper Fox, sir. Your range is stupid. It is not human. You were singing like super high tenor into falsetto parts, and then we're dropping like deep sub harmonics on me, man. Can't handle that. It made me made my heart swell with happiness. Might have exploded. Don't do it again, man. Anyways, oh my god. So so good. Oh man, so much to talk about. Let's go back and let's uh I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit and then we're gonna talk about it. Uh I may not have much to say on this because there's a ton going on, um, but I'm going to do my best. So let's dive into it. Uh, for those of you that are only here for the reaction, that's the end of the reaction part of the video. Now we dive into the analysis. So if you are only here to see my stupid face, make stupid faces, then that's the end of your video. I hope you have a great day, night, afternoon, brunch, lunch, dinner, supper, sleep. Whatever it is you're doing before you, after you're done watching this. Have a good one. For those of you that are staying around for the analysis, let's get going. We stand on the edge. So, a signature of Marwin Amon is bell tones. And the editing that goes with them as well with, as the notes are being sung, you pop those versions of that person in. He's done this on every song that I've heard him. Maybe not in Emperor's New Clothes, which we'll do in October, but he's done this on pretty much every other song that I've heard from him, where he just likes to mess around with bell tones and make it work. It's become like his staple, just like, you know, Peter's chest fry is his staple basically at this point. Bobby's low chest notes, Tommy's outfits and ridiculous falsetto whistles that he can do. Like, all these guys are kind of craving, carving out a niche for themselves uh, as individuals, and then they mold it really well into the bass gang. Marwin's is bell tones and ridiculous arrangements. Edge. They want us to break, they want us to fall, cause powers it stay. What does he get down to there? Also, one thing I'm going to say, we, we you know, I've talked about this with Bass Gang before in, in other videos, performing, not just singing, performing. Uh, obviously, Marwin can do it. We've seen it plenty of times from May the Bass Be With You Volume 2. But Casper, someone I have never seen before, I had not heard of him before watching this song, I will absolutely go rectify that now. Uh, also, super expressive, very in and, you know, very much with his with his face and also with his body uh, and his mouth, even when he's singing, like he is mega expressive and he draws you in as a viewer just to see what he's doing with his performance. So, so good. So excellent. Really ups the quality of this video. So shout outs to both of you. Laughing at us as we fade. So there's a in the kind of in the background a little bit. Someone's going, oh, 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 except better because I can't sing that high. Is that I'm assuming that's Marwan getting up there, but if it's Casper, either way, really well done. Sing at us as we So one thing I really like about Marwan is that just in the last few months, really, because I know they've been he's been working on this for a while, uh, or at least it sounds like he's been working on it for a while based off the outro that we'll probably check out. Because um, I remember seeing, I think it was on Instagram, might have been TikTok, that he's like, this has been like six months in the work, and I didn't watch it after that. But, um, so... One thing I love about Marwin is that his he you can tell he's been working on his high voice because it sounds a lot more 
uh, clear. It doesn't look like he's trying to strain in his head voice as much. Like you can tell he's been working on increasing his upper chest range because it sounds much more clear. It sounds much more powerful than it did even in something like Centuries, where you could kind of tell he was really trying to push himself a little bit. Here it sounds a lot more almost natural, which I really enjoy. Good job, Marwin. Dark as night, feel the power in you. Take a moment of silence and fight for the truth. Fight for the truth. Oh, that growl. That growl, a subharmonic growl, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so Casper is showing off in the matter of like 15 seconds his range, because I think that's him in the background on these really high, like, borderline falsetto, if not falsetto, uh, Oz in the background and during the chorus. And then, of course, he drops that massive growl and does what I like to dub bass hand, because, like, all bass hand singers do this, or, like, acapella singers. Just, their hand is always flat like this, and then they move it around a lot. It's just what they do, apparently. He shows it off there as well with his beautifully painted nails. Uh, so let's listen to that one more time and then we'll move on. Go back before we talk about that. So the guitar, I imagine, I know like acapella singers that are really good can like mimic a guitar. I imagine that was probably done through some post-production work as well to give it that really synth sound. Now, I mean, Lane made his voice sound like a synth when he was doing bass kicks and running up that hill for voice play, but this sounds a little bit more extreme. Uh, so I imagine that it was run through some sort of like program inside of whatever software he was using but still has a nice little touch so one thing that really shows off a cat sorry for pausing so quickly but one thing that really shows off for casper here is just that like that like grit or rasp in his voice like it comes across as really rock tenor very similar to ellie from voice play i love it it works really really well in this song doing there it was an interesting little run that he did it was kind of hard to hear though another little run there in the bass line like listen to do 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 very, very clean. Oh. I need to know how far down he got on that. Because that was, and if that was chest, chest fry, or subs, I need to know. I'm very curious because I want to learn. Because, uh, damn, that was clean. So clean, so precise sounding. Very, very nice. And fight for the truth, watching the days go by. Nothing changed, nothing new. Going the uh, yellow flicker beat editing with the side scroll. Well done. Take a moment of silence and fight for the truth. Marwin also known for throwing little bits of choreography in there on I Believe. Look up on I. Bring your arm down on Believe. Good stuff. Came off really well. Gonna win the fight. Got to win the fight. Whoa. Whoa. Hang on. Let's 
let's listen to those low notes that Marwan's doing. I'll have to press in. Sorry about that. Gonna win the fight. Got to win the fight. Whoa. That note sounded very close to his B zero sub harmonic that he did in Emperor's New Clothes. If that's close, then he just did it twice, which is ridiculous. It sounds close, but I don't know if it's exactly a B zero. Might be lower or higher. Could be either one. I'm not good at identifying notes. If you know, I would love to hear it. What note did Marvin do and Marwan do in that ridiculously low cadence there? So again, Casper shows off his range in a matter of like eight seconds. So he's doing this super high borderline, like tenor belt, probably borderline falsetto. And then like in the next frame, he's dropping like super low sub sounding like this. In the night, the oh, and he probably got even higher in that little fake guitar riff. I'm not sure. But like, this is just the comparison I want to show you. He's like super high right here. Ridiculous. Well done, Casper. Watching the days go by. Nothing changed, nothing new. A moment of silence. And fight for the truth. Tommy with a bass slide randomly. Dude literally filmed one freaking clip and probably nailed it first try. Yeah, probably barely did his hair. I think he just wakes up like that. But just put on a white shirt and a nice black jacket, came in, dropped a bass slide down to whatever note he gets to. And the setup for it is is stellar because you don't see it coming. Um, so with the... Uh, he uses the technique. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I know a certain creator really, really enjoys it where like, we've had this wall of sound going for a little bit. Very, very cool wall of sound, but a wall of sound for a while. And then he takes this moment to just go, and then he drops it in. So he utilizes just that, apropos to the name of the song, moment of silence, to, like, snap you in. And then he just drops a Tommy cameo in the middle of all of this. Tommy's ridiculously wicked smile. Jerk. Wish I could look that good while smiling like that. And fight for the truth. Probably the modulated guitar again. Now. Fight for the truth. Ooh, what's that low note at the end? Very, very clean. Very nice. Uh, so Marvin afterwards talks about the fact that this took him a long time. Uh, that's my guess, because I, like I said, I heard on TikTok it was there. So let's watch the end real quick. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching our cover of Moment of Silence by the Romanian artist Anton. This one just might be my biggest, most complicated arrangement yet, and a lot of work has been put into it, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And a huge thank you goes out to my incredible friend Casper Fox for joining me on this track. We've been working on this project since around December or January, and we had to keep postponing it for several different reasons. But it's finally out now, and you guys get to see how insanely talented Casper is, so go show Agreed. him some love. Also, I now finally have my own Patreon page, so if you want to show me some extra support and get yourself some really cool special benefits along the way, click the link in the description and consider joining my Patreon for as little as $1 a month. That $1 a month delivery is very Peter Barber-esque. He's been paying, he's been watching Pete's videos. I like it.
it would truly mean the world to me. And for the first time in the history of this channel, you can now stream this track on Spotify, Apple Music, and all streaming platforms basically, as well as two of my previous tracks, which are Stay and Deck the Halls. All the links for that are in the description, as well as my... Okay, so Casper Fox has slightly more subscribers than I do. That is... Nah. Nah, we're not doing that. Subscribe to that man right now. So, anyways, guys. Uh, I don't really have much to say at the end. This is just stellar work by Marwin and by Casper. Subscribe to both of these guys. Just great, great work, Marwin. I'm sorry it took so long, but I'm glad that it's out now. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Let me do this thing real quick. Do the thing I tell you always to do on my side. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm going to definitely share it with folks. Uh, I've already subscribed to Marwan. I'll do my comment. Sorry it took you so long to figure it out. But holy crap, was it worth a wait? Alright, so I did all the things that I tell you to do in my videos. See how long it took me? Not even a minute. Not even a minute. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, this will go out on probably Saturday, so you get a special reaction video before we wrap up Misty Mountains Month with Jeff Castellucci's version of Misty Mountains. And then we dive into August and Home Free. So, till the next video, I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all enjoying whatever music you enjoy and that you're having fun with it. I will see you all in the next video.